Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here. Uh, just a quick update. The uh, the other day I had uh, posted up about my starting to learn Russian on Duolingo and complaining about not being able to uh, type in Russian. Well, I found a way to bring up a Russian keyboard on a Windows 10 computer and uh, hope if I do it right I'll be able to show y'all how to do that. So, sit back and let's see how this happened. Let's see how this works. Okay, so, the other day I was complaining that I was not able to bring up a Russian keyboard in order to type my Russian answers in Duolingo. I have found a way to do this, so I'm going to hopefully show you all how to uh, pull it up yourselves. So we're going to go start out here at Settings. And... Go back here. Oh, why are we not? There we are. We're going to go to time and language. And we're going to select language. Uh, everybody should have their primary language first up here. And then the language you want to add, select add preferred language and as you can see I've already installed the uh, the Russian language pack but if we click add the preferred language we have a whole list of languages and dialects uh, runs a uh, quite the gamut here we surprised I didn't realize it they even have all the Chinese alphabet in there and French special characters and German alphabet characters Hungarian it's all here so you select the language you want and then you go ahead and click install it'll take a couple minutes for that to install once it's installed, if you look down here in the right hand corner, it brings up our keyboard languages. So for right now, we're going to leave it set to English. You have your language uh, selected and installed. We'll go to ease of access. We'll select keyboard and we're going to turn on the on-screen keyboard. The reason we're doing this is because we don't have a map for hard keyboard unless if you make your own. So now we're going to change to the Russian keyboard and all of a sudden we have a Russian keyboard. Let me bring up a blank document and we're going to make the letters big so if we not using the, if we're not using the um, virtual keyboard on the screen, uh, if I type the tilde, I get the yo. And then I get typing English Q W E R T Y U I O P open parenthesis, close parenthesis, or pardon me, bracket, open bracket, close bracket. 
gives us those Russian characters English A S D F G H J K L semicolon apostrophe gives us those characters Z X C V B N M comma period forward slash gives us that Now if I don't want to draw out my map and I don't have the keyboard committed to memory, I can use the virtual keyboard here and we're going to spell the word brother. So we've got B R A T Vrat. Hopefully you find this helpful. I know I did. I know now I'll be able to write the responses in Russian when Duolingo asks me to write my responses in Russian. Again, hope you all find this helpful. Half Mile Sniper, check it out. Send it. Yeah.